Okay, we're just sitting here in the Russian arm, getting ready. So we just uh, just came back from lunch. We had a very, very eventful morning, probably the most eventful of my filming career so far. Everything that went could have gone wrong seemed to go wrong. Uh, we had another shoot set up at the bottom of our set. So we had a whole other film crew that we had to get rid of. And then a photography crew came, and then some electricians came to test all of the lights, all perfectly in the background, so that kind of really slowed us down. And then just when we started going, the bus broke down. So after lunch, now everything is repaired and hopefully onwards to an eventful day. So we're just getting ready for the bus to drive it up the road into this barrier. It's uh, one hit wonder. You can only have one go at it, I think. One go. <laughs> one bus. <laughs> one one barrier. <laughs> and it was such an explosion when this water hit the screen, I promise you. Quite exciting. <laughs> It just went there and it was frightening. It was not scary, but I had a, re I had a real shock. It was amazing. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, guys. It's a wrap. Well done today. Sound effect on this barrel here. It's, I think it's going to be great for comic effects. Right. I'm the technician of the Russian arm and the fly dead. Fly dead and Russian arm built for film, car to car stuff. And it's ideal because as the road over here is very bumpy, the gyros take all the bumps out and it gives us a very nice still picture. So Nathan, our stunt guy, he's inside the car, he's being controlled from the boot, and then he's going to open the door, roll out the side of the car, the car's going to keep going with the driver in the boot up to here where it's going to stop. But to the audiences, it's going to look like Nathan very cleverly wedged one of his boots into the car accelerator and the car just went for it until it meets the piled up barrels of explosive, dangerous material. Fantastic, man. Good. I love it. Get the adrenaline going, the heart pumping. So this is our second day shooting in Cape Town. Um, we just finished non-explosion, uh, which uh, featured one of my favorite rigs, the mirror rig. Um, it's one of the ways to get the car to feel like it's really impacting with the camera. You shoot 90 degrees into a large mirror, and then you drive the car at speed into the mirror. Fantastic shot. The only downside is you tend to ruin um, a Volkswagen while you do it. But, you know, it looked fantastic, so what can I say? Yeah. Good second-hand car. So it's day three of the shoot, and uh, we're doing anti-skid technology uh, script today. And um, we're in a very fishy smelling dockyard. Paper down, car! Only the most glamorous location for us. Thank you. It's a classic cop chase, cop car chase. But the um, 
patches that every time they turn around the corner, they actually slow down and very gingerly and carefully drive around the corner and then speed up again. So we're getting that idea that actually you don't get that big cinematic um, Skid skidding slide. that you get in typical car chase scenes. experience to shooting a normal ad. It feels more like a like set of an action movie and it's been really exciting to be able to witness that and see that. That's a wrap, thank you very much guys. Well done. Well done. Good job everybody. So this is the end of an excellent three days in Cape Town, South Africa. Bye everyone. Thank you. We're now driving back to England. <laughs>